الرحيم الحمد لله وكفى وسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى اما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته. <تصفيق> the Arabs have a story that they shared before the time of Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم and they consider it uh, you know a, a, a source of wisdom. This story is a lesson of wisdom in life. They talk about somebody who decided to go on a uh, on a sea trip, on a voyage. So he didn't have a boat. So he he brought the uh, the qirba. Qirba is is a is a bag. They make it from the stomach of the animal when it's slaughtered and when it's dried. They blow it up or they they fill it with water. It looks like a bag like that. So he blew it up and then he tied it and he put it in the water and he started floating on it. A little bit further from the, from the shore, the tie got undone and then the, the air you know, went out and he started drowning. So he called out for somebody to help, help because he was drowning. And then he said to him, Yadaka aw kata wa fu kanafa. You blew it, you blew, you blew it by your own mouth and you tie it with your own hands. I mean, you ended up in this situation because of your mistake. And do not blame anyone, you blame yourself, subhanAllah. Why I wanna share with this story with you? Because the human tendency is to find somebody to blame when there is a problem. If we find ourselves in a problem, we look hard to find somebody to blame. But we hardly think about ourselves as the cause of this problem. The Quran was very clear about that. That the first one to question, the first one to blame when you find yourself in a problem is yourself. How much did you do? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it clear in the Quran. Every time we talk about people or nation who lost their way and ended up into, a tr into trouble with Allah, Allah always con you know, conclude the story or in the end of the story, He says, وَمَا ظَلَمْنَاهُمْ وَلَكِنْ كَانُوا أَنفُسَمْ يَظْلَمُونَ We haven't done anything wrong to them. But they actually put a lot of them, put themselves in trouble by their own hands. So when there isn't a problem and you're looking for a realistic and genuine solution, think about yourself as the first one to be asked or to be blamed for having this problem before you think of others. Because that will help you fix it. Because if you always think about other people, other things, then nothing is going to be solved. Some people will lie when they have a problem in their family, a husband and wife having a problem, they blame the war in Gaza because that because of this war we have a problem. Subhanallah, thousands of miles away, but they still find something to feel unguilty and to feel okay with themselves because they don't want to be blaming themselves. May Allah subhanahu wa taala make us from the best of the people. Allahumma.